Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your truly hungover hermit back once again. And uh, I'm in a little bit of a hating society mood. So cheers to that. And on that note, I figured, what is a good comedian to listen to when you kind of hate society? And I would have thought of Bill Burr, because he kind of hates society too. So, I just pulled something up that I don't think I've reacted to before. I don't remember if I've listened to it, but it, although it does sound a little familiar... But, um, it's Bill Burr, Titanic is a horror film. I mean, I don't know. Like, horror films, about that, horror films are supposed to have jump scares and things that are, like, surprising. There isn't a goddamn thing that's surprising about the movie Titanic. Uh, in fact, that's the reason why it took so long for my my ex to convince me to watch it she was like oh but it's romantic and i'm like yeah but the ship sinks we kind of know that already but anyway probably part of the reason she's my ex <laughs> yeah I, I was that asshole i didn't really w w want to it's romantic yeah but okay Anyway, so we're going to just watch this and uh, see why Bill Burr thinks Titanic is a horror film. I'm a loser, people. Oh, yeah, let's get that out of the way. You know, 36, not married. I sleep on a futon. You know, my back hurts. It's awful. I'm at that age where everybody I know is getting married. People, let me ask you a question. Why the hell do people keep getting married? You know what I mean? Isn't anybody looking at the stats? Facts. What's it like? Three out of four marriages go right down the drain now? People, if you were going skydiving and they told you three out of four parachutes weren't going to open, you'd be like, yo, forget it. I'm not going. I don't like those odds. That's a fact. I'm just kidding, people. You know what? I'll get married. I'll get married the day I see a married guy who actually, like, looks happy. You know what I mean? Because every time you see a married dude, any time you ask them what it's like being married, they always tell you it's good, but they have a look on their face like they have like an appendicitis. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. You're like, yeah, you know, so what's it like being married? They're like, you know, it's good, it's good. <laughs> That's good, you know, it's a lot of work, but, uh, you know, it's good. You know, when you, meet, when you meet the right person and, you know, it's, it's, click, <laughs> you know, it's definitely, it's a good thing. I, you know, I enjoy it. You meet that person, you know when you know. I can't feel my legs. No, you know when you know. I can't you know, feel my legs. It's definitely, it's a good thing. Just. To... <laughs> I love women, though. This is my deal. I love women, but you know what I'm finding? I'm not compatible with them. You know? I'm serious. Women have, like, too much energy for me. That's what I've noticed, you know? Like, you can't have a day off when you have a girlfriend. They just, like, see that open day. They're like, oh, my God, let's go fill it up with some stuff. No, and then they just come at you with one horrible idea after another. Facts. Horrible ideas like, you want to make some sandwiches and go to the park? <laughs> no, <laughs> every one of their ideas involves like walking around, like looking at stuff. It's almost like they're trying to wear you down. <laughs> after like two or three stores, you're like leaning on stuff. Ah, I don't care. Just buy something. I don't care. You know what the worst one is? You ever get that one? You want to go to brunch? You want to go to brunch on Sunday? And inside you're like, no! <laughs> but you can't say that. You got to keep them happy, right? That's so what do you do. You're like, yeah, let's go to brunch. What a great idea. Why would you want to sleep in on a Sunday when you can go pay $18 for eggs? Now nah, you're thinking. <laughs> now nah, you're thinking. Then we can sit around and listen to your friends have moronic conversations about the eggs. Like, is that pesto? Is that pesto in your omelet? Oh, it's asparagus. It's asparagus. I thought it was pesto. Oh, you just 
just want to flip the whole table over and just run out of there. So, I was dating this girl recently. This girl's like really like into like women's issues. <laughs> she got me this book on women's lib one time, right? So I'm reading this thing. I think women's lib was a great thing. Like back in the 70s, I thought it was cool, you know? Over the last couple of years though, I think that whole woman's movement, it's really starting to morph into kind of like this reverse pimping kind of thing, you know? Because every time you see them on TV, they always say, all we want is to be treated exactly like guys, right? But if you listen to them, they don't. They only want the good stuff of being a guy. They look at a guy's life like it's like a buffet. <laughs> like you just can start picking out stuff, like same amount an hour, we'll take some of that. Pay for the movie, that's okay, you can keep that one, I don't like that one. <laughs> This is nice, that's yucky, that's icky. I mean, come on, people, you can't choose. This girl gave me a rough time one time. She goes, well, why does a guy make more an hour to do the exact same job? I go, I'll tell you why. Because in the unlikely event that we're both on a Titanic and it starts to sink, for some screwed up reason, you get to leave with the kids and I have to stay. <laughs> You know, if there's a house fire, it's always women and children first. I gotta stand there with like the back of my shirt on fire, going, let's go, people, let's go, let's go. So that's how. Yeah, but is that not the biggest fact, though? Is that not the biggest fact, though? Like, listen, it's all cool at all. Like, listen, we, we could be equal, but then let's always be equal. Yo, shut up. <laughs> fucking fireworks but um yeah where was i yeah let's always be cool. like i i don't know about ya. Yeah, i'm sorry but how do i know it, it, honestly same thing with kids i'm sorry but fuck your kids not sorry at all really how do i know that kid's gonna be grow up to be anything that i i could be saving the uh by, by letting that kid survive i could be saving the next Major serial killer. I don't know that. I know I'm not a serial killer though, so I think I'm a pretty good choice to to keep alive. That kid hasn't realized his potential yet. It his potential might be a horrible one. Why do we have to save the kids? No. No. Screw that. I'm telling y'all right now, I am not the person you want. Uh, like I am and and aren't the person you want in a in a survival situation, because I will definitely be like, like yeah, let's do whatever it takes to survive. But if you think that I'm gonna take the sacrifice play, no, I'm good. I'm trying to live here. That's why I'm good in a survival situation, cause I want to live too. Fuck out of here. <laughs> For some screwed up reason, you get to leave with the kids and I have to stay. No, that's why I get the dollar more an hour. You know, if there's a house fire, it's always women and children first. I gotta stand there with like the back of my shirt on fire going, let's go people, let's go, let's go. So that's how I look at it. No, it's a dollar an hour surcharge. Seriously, that if something screwed up happens, either I can't leave or I gotta like get in the way of it to give you a head start, like rabbit dog, run honey, one Mississippi, two Mississippi. <laughs> you hear a bump in the night, I gotta go check it out, like yes, he does have a knife. <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't think a woman should make a doll less than an hour to do the exact same job, okay? I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is if you're gonna make what I make when the boat sinks, you better be standing right there next to me, listening to that guy play the cello. <laughs> then you get the corner office. I don't got a problem. You get all the benefits. That's why I didn't like that movie, The Titanic. You know? You know what I hate about that movie? Every girl I meet thinks that movie's romantic. Like, my God, that was so romantic, don't you think? No! <laughs> no, I don't. It was a horror film. <laughs> and they're always like, why? Why? Because all the guys die. 
<laughs> See, you're Fact. sitting there watching it going, who would I be in that scenario? You be that chick floating away in the big piece of luggage. I'm watching it going, who would I be? I'd be that dude when like the boat breaks in half, that dude who like falls straight down, bangs off the stuff and goes into the water. That's who I'd be. I'd be wearing a tuxedo, not because I wanted to, but you wanted to dress up that night, right? <laughs> And I'd just be falling the whole way down. I should have humped that chicken for his class. <laughs> All right, I'm out of time. You guys have a lot of fun. Thank you very much. Howie. <laughs> oh, shit. But that's true. That's exactly That's exactly who I'd be. I ain't going to lie. I, I, I probably wouldn't even be that lucky. I'd be one of the, I would be one of the dudes below deck that just, like, Sees the water coming, and that's the only way out. Exactly where the water is coming, and now I just am like watching my death because I can't hold my breath that long, and I know there's no way I'm making out the situation. So I cut. So I have to look around to see if there's a faster way I can die besides like drowning. Cause I don't want to drown. That seems very unpleasant. But, uh, yeah, hey, listen, I say it all the time. I'm all for equal rights. But let's let's have everything be equal. Everything. Everything. You know, I heard a story before, and it was really people arguing about this. It was really, it was really people arguing about this. It was about, um, this guy, he, he took, he took a girl to, 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 to a restaurant, and... You know, he got a regular meal, nothing crazy fancy. The girl decided to get the most expensive thing on the me- on the menu. It was like some some big lobster thing. Okay. So the check ca- it was their first date, mind you. Check came, and he was like, "Yeah, um, you gotta pay for that lobster." Because of course she made no move toward the check. But so he was basically like, um, yeah, you're paying for that lobster. I'm paying for my food. She, and she got all mad. And it's just, and I really had people like, there were really were people like, oh, well, he should, he should have known what the restaurant served and known that he should, and then he should be expected to pay for, to be able to afford the most expensive thing on the menu if she wants that. And it's like, no. Listen, if you expect somebody to pay for your food, there's kind of an unspoken rule that people kind of should learn. You see, you watch what the other person orders. You ask them. It's something that we all should do. Especially if you expect to have your food paid for. You ask the... Why you're wolf looking at the menu, you ask them, what do you think you're going to get? And now it isn't, you pretend that it's so, to help you make a decision. It's not for you to make a decision. It's so you have a price range. Because from whatever they say, I would say that they're going to get, I would say you should, nothing you order should be like that much more than that if they're ordering a meal for twenty dollars, yeah, you could spend twenty five dollars, twenty 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 seven, maybe even thirty dollars. Don't go and order a fifty dollar meal if they're ordering a twenty dollar one. That is rude. That is rude. Like, oh, you're gonna get that little thing, so I'm gonna get. Well, I want. I need require all this fancy shit. Like, that's not cute. That is not cute. And mind you, I always come out with, whenever I go on a date, I make sure I have extra money just in case. But I'll tell you right now, I won't, I won't, I'll pay for your food on that first date. But if you pull a move like that, that is obviously rude, oh, this, this probably not going to be a second date. I'm telling you right now. Uh, no. No, that's when it starts to feel like, so you're using me to buy you expensive food. Like, can't, would you even buy that if you were by yourself? And that's another thing. If you wouldn't buy it for yourself, if you were out with just a friend, 
don't order it again unless they're go- going all out. If the man, if he go, if he goes and orders lobster, yeah, you want lobster, order the lobster. But if he's ordered a burger, and you go and order lobster, obviously those are two whole different like wage gaps in terms of food. Don't be that woman. Don't be that woman, cause and you'll be surprised how many of them there are out there. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. It's rude. It's rude. Straight up. Just like the fireworks that are going on outside. Fucking rude. Alright, anyway. Hopefully I didn't offend anybody. Not that I usually care if I do, but... I just mean, be polite. Be nice to people. You never know. I mean, listen, if you know... For example, like, I'm, like if you know... If you're going out with a dude because he's fucking loaded... Well, then that's your prerogative. But if you're just going out with a regular dude, don't be... He he got to pay rent, too. <laughs> All right. But, yeah. Uh, lifeboat situation. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm getting on a lifeboat. Yeah. But, anyway, I'm going to get the hell up out of here. Because now I'm just talking too much like I always do. But, uh, yeah. It's been yours truly, Hungover Hermit. Cheers, and I'm out of here.